Eowyn, White Lady of Rohan, orphaned as a young child and raised in the court of her uncle, King Theoden. Eowyn is fiercely passionate about her land. She's fiercely passionate about her king. I would have you smile again, not grieve for those whose time has come. Miranda's role is probably, without a doubt, my favorite role in the, in the whole of the trilogy. She's not one to just go home and do the cooking. She's a woman who has this inner strength and has been trained in horseback riding and fighting. You have some skill with a blade. She is someone who has been brought up with those skills because because she is royal and because there is a chance that she may end up being the last of, of the lineage. And she is given certain responsibilities, but they don't actually want her to be in the front line of battle. You must lead the people to Helm's Deep and make haste. I can fight. No. You must do this for me. The women of Rohan are supposed to farewell the men um, and, and watch them go off to battle and then wait behind. Stay together but she wants to go and fight for her people. And action. I came here for three weeks before we started shooting, working with the stunt guys and working on a choreographed fight and also just working on the basic moves. It's just making sure that you put... You, you, you feel like you're really hit, hitting the guys, and I think you should just whack them. In the end, when we were shooting it on set, Peter said to me, oh, you know, it doesn't look really like you're slashing him there. I think you'll really have to hit him. So he, he had me full on hitting everybody. Just remember, pain is temporary, film is forever. <laughs> Her character has a chance to be a, an interesting role model for women and girls, because she is complicated and because she can defend herself and is, and is willing to. She's determined to go to battle, partially because she has a sinner strength and partially because she's fallen in love with Aragorn and wants to follow him. You ride with us. Just to the encampment. It's tradition for the women of the court to farewell the men. Point of a soul. Sometimes. In the end, she would like to be fighting beside Aragorn to fight for her people, you know, to, to have the chance to be allowed to, to stand up for, for what she believes in and what she loves. And I think he, he admires her for that, and he, he really does care about her. Where is she? The woman who gave you that jewel. Aragorn points out to her that she's really in love with a shadow. She's really in love with a concept and not with him, that their love could never amount to anything. You know, I've had the, the, the ups and downs of, of love, and I've, I certainly know what what her story is, the, the despair that, that she feels. You do see the vulnerability of her, you do see the kind of the humanity, and you do see the, the complex layers of emotion. I think for Eowyn, she gets to see in this film what, what she's really made of. This day, we fight! She has a real warrior spirit. She wants to fight, she wants to defend her people, she wants to defend the land of Rohan. Whatever happens, stay with me.